Hey, it's Lisa from the blog Farmhouse on Boone and today I'm excited to finally show you how to assemble the Christmas gift baskets I promised you. So if you've been following along you know that I am excited about making some handmade Christmas gifts with all Farmhouse on Boone tutorials. You know how you have those people on your list who you just don't know what to buy for them and typically you run out and buy them some random home decor item like a picture frame or some scented candle or like a Bath and Body Works set and that just counts as your gift and you're not, you never really feel that great about it, you're not that excited to give it to them, but you just didn't know what to get and you didn't really have time to come up with something better. So this is the solution to that problem. Handmade Christmas gift baskets. Let me show you a few of the items in the basket and then I will show you how to actually assemble them. I have a video which I will link all of this in the description box below and a blog post that goes along with all this so all of that relevant information will be linked on how to make a homemade sugar scrub another video on how to make homemade vanilla extract, and then a final video on how to make homemade hand-poured beeswax candles. So I got to thinking that that would make a really pretty Christmas gift arranged nicely in a basket, and so I did all the legwork for you of one, designing a free printable gift tag, which is on my blog, it'll be linked. All the information will be on one post link so that this isn't confusing. You can print this off. I have the, this exact ribbon linked. I added cinnamon sticks, a tea towel from World Market, and all in this World Market basket. So let me show you how this is going to look with everything in it and how it would make the perfect Christmas gift for everyone on your list. I started with this small Nora basket from World Market. I just added in some of this packing, natural looking um, packing supplies. And that is just to keep everything kind of elevated so that nothing is sinking too far down into the basket. Next, taking my printable, which you can find at farmhouseonboon.com, link in the description. I'm gonna cut just inside of the dotted lines. I'm going to take my Hole punch, and just put a little hole right here. I'm going to get about 12 to 14 inches of this black and white ribbon. This is just for decorative purposes, of course. I'm gonna loop it through and just do a little knot. Put that sort of in the corner. Next, I'm gonna grab my tea towel. I picked this one up from World Market as well. I just like their tea towel options. I think they're very pretty. I'm just gonna put it in just kind of so that the outside kind of falls over the edge, holding it to be about six to seven inches wide. I'm just kind of like that. Next, I'm going to grab my candle. Just kind of put it in like this. I want everything sort of popping out of the basket so that it is nicely arranged and we can see everything. I'm gonna throw my sugar scrub over here in the corner. I've tied a little piece of twine around the outside. This is in a half pint size mason jar. Now I poured my homemade vanilla extract into this amber bottle. I'm gonna add a few cinnamon sticks just for decorative purposes. I think those look nice. And finally, I'm just gonna take some greenery, which I have dried preserved boxwood, but you can use more Christmas greenery. If this is not a gift for Christmas and you wanna do it for a wedding, you could use some flowers. I'm just gonna put a few stems together and tie it with some of my ribbon, just a small amount, just to kind of cover this area in the middle that doesn't really have anything in it. Around Christmas time, I'd like to even grab maybe some pine or you know, something more Christmas related. So there you have it. 
how to make a handmade Christmas gift basket with all items that you can make in your own home. They're all nice items. What I love about them is they're all things people can use. Who doesn't love a nice beeswax candle? Homemade vanilla extract, great for holiday baking or anytime. I put vanilla in everything. And sugar scrub, which can be so relaxing in a bath if you add lavender, or it can be invigorating if you add peppermint. A really lovely gift, not very expensive. Perfect for those people on your list who you don't know what to buy for. And you can whip up this whole basket in large quantities so that you can get it for 10 people on your list. It'd be great for teachers, grandparents, your niece, your godmother, your sister, anybody who you just feel like you don't just want to give them another Bath & Body Works set, but at the same time, every year you get them something and you want to show them you care, this would be a great gift. Be sure to stop by the blog farmhouseonboon.com and sign up for my newsletter to stay in the know on all of our current projects going on here and DIYs that you can use in your own home. What do you like about this gift? What would you add or change? Let me know in the comments below. And please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more food from scratch, natural living, and a handmade home.